Nama, and welcome to another playthrough. And this time, we are playing Slain. Yeah, Slain with an exclamation mark. So that you'll know it's hardcore and deathifying. Yeah, so, as you can see here, uh, I've heard that this game is really bad, and I've played through 15 minutes of it, and I can tell you it's absolute trash. Now, with the cool uh, soundtrack and the awesome lighting effects, it looks pretty neat, but as I'll show you, it's not. And you're about to see why. And this is pretty cool. Hmm, this looks like the tomb that we have. Yes, it is him. Wake him up. I, I really like the um, visual style here. A lot of glows of blues, purples, and reds. Patrol, awake! Your children need you. The land is crying again. Wake up. Arr, go away, spirit. I have enough of you last time. Arr. Yo, patrol! Sorry. The text is going by so fast I can barely keep up. Yes, no, go away! It is time. Gather the guardian, your children. Uh, I told you I have no children! Now let me sleep! Yeah, so apparently you're playing as a dead guy who's being resurrected. Uh, why, spirit? Why? Serves you well again, Bathorian. Yeah, so we have just gone back from hell, and we are supposed to go back and slay monsters in the cemetery. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm talking a bit loud here. Now this looks pretty fundamental. Here you run back and forth. There's a big delay in the input. We meet again, it is time we wait war. Yeah, so then you press W to attack and you only have one attack. Now, you can't press R to dodge, but However, for the best response, you go, uh, you actually go, you actually double tap it. Because otherwise, if you attack, um, when you're in the middle of attack, it's not going to respond very well. And here's a checkpoint. First of all, why do you put the checkpoint at the very beginning of the level when you've only fought, fought one monster? I don't know, the developed the devs probably wanted to fuck with you. Yeah, so you press up to jump. I really hate games where they uh, program the inputs up, up to jump. Yeah, these monsters take a very long time to slay. The music's pretty nice, and I have a feeling that's where they spent most of their time on. The soundtrack and the um, After Effects lighting effects. And the After Effects uh, lighting. Ah, double kill, look at that. And that potion's a bit too uh, light. Should they have covered more health? I don't know. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked pretty dang hard. As you can see, the problem with this game is, you can see, here are the controls. The ancients have littered this land with deadly traps. So, the traps are very hard to see. They place these, they place these pigeons here just to fuck with you. Oh, come on! See? They blended the spikes in with the background! Now to start the beginning of the level, that's great. The 
it is a big delay. The controls are ver the, the problem with this game is you can see here are the controls. And there's a big delay in the attack compared to the enemies. And the enemies are a lot stronger than you. And that's not fair. You start out the game way too weak. See how slowly this your hero moves? I've lost quite a bit of health. And it looks like I suck at this game, but oh no, I don't. I'm just I'm trying my very best. Now I'm coming across four at once. Oh, come on! Wouldn't it be- You have been slain! Slain in the ass, of course! Wouldn't it be reasonable to put this checkpoint right at the- Just right before the mob of really large monsters? And also, wouldn't it be nice to recover your health? The dev actually doesn't even- The developer doesn't even know when to put the checkpoint or a health, uh, Cover. Come on! Why are you checking back- attacking backwards? Oh, come on! I went so far to reach the trap the first time. This time I'm shit out of luck. Yeah, well, there's a huge delay in the controls. I'm being redundant here. And this is not early access, by the way. This is a full game being sold for $12.99 on Steam. $13 for a piece of shit. Steam needs quality control. And I have to... The people are right about this game being terrible. And I am in that fucking camp. Now, luckily, unfortunately, this is more, a lot more expensive than Terror Lab. I'm about to get my refund for this game after going through the first playthrough. I can't even get past the first level, which shouldn't be a problem. And there is no tutorial phase. It just says, FUNCH! Uh, first level should really just be a walk in the park, and should there be tutorials? Stop at Toshiba. Sorry, that's my laptop up demanding updates. It always interrupts me when I'm playing games like this. It does. The computer, my computer is finally recognizing how shitty this game is. Even it has a mind of its own. Now, I may have a feeling that I may ignore some of these monsters, especially if they come in, in solo. The jumping mechanics are very slow. This is where the angels should be! See, I, I have trouble dodging the attacks. The controls are unresponsive. Here we are to the trap. And look! And looky! And look what they do to fuck with us! Besides flooding and the spikes in the background here, watch this. Come oh, I dodged it this time. What the hell? Why couldn't they put a checkpoint right before the spikes? But there's a horde of enemies going out to kill you. Fantastic product. Hmm. 
Sorry, there's a car out in front of the yard. Siren going off. Maybe they're alerting. Hey, this is a terrible game. Stay away. here. And dodging your attacks is also, dodging the attacks are also pointless too. Watch out, it's a trap! Sometimes these monsters will get in the way. back is because the dodging attack is really slow. See, there's a huge delay. And bottom line is, don't buy this game. There's nothing worth salvaging except for the soundtrack. Now for here, this is Brother Nama signing off. And since this is a terrible game, I'm about to get refunds just like I did with Terror Lab. I'm about to kill you!